So in keeping with our theme of everyday rhythm of the Nembutsu, uh, we have someone at the Serbetsu who was not able to be at our banquet last night, um, but certainly has brought for many, many years through many services uh, music into our lives. So Florence Sumida, if you could please come forward, we would like to recognize you. So we think that Florence has played organ at the Bits Wing for more than 50 years. <laughs> so, so thank you, Florence. Uh, we have a whole bunch of lost and found. I'm going to put it along here. There are various Oninju. Um, I know there's a couple of Oninju that were specifically asked for, and unfortunately we cannot find them. But if we do, we will get in contact with you. So, you know, as all of our senses have talked about uh, looking for the rhythm of the Nembutsu in everything, in every part of our lives. So, in the Amida Kyo, there is a passage where uh, a description of the Pure Land is described, and specifically on the Lotus Pond, and it talks about the jewels. Everybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we got a no on the side, so you guys better go back and study the Amida Kyo. So the Amida Kyo describes the Pure Land and talks about what a beautiful place it is, and the jewels, and on the Lotus Pond, there are flowers of many colors, and the flowers emit a light that is specific to them. So uh, Kinoe Kohara used that as her inspiration for the flowers in the Onaijing. So did everybody pick up on that? That that is a rendition of her rhythm of the Amida Kill. So In the spirit of the Northwest and our desire to continue to be green and also to help defray costs for Idaho, Oregon, please take your name badge and pass it to the aisle and we will willingly turn these over to the next group of people who are willingly taking on the strength convention. Oh, don't forget to take out your bento ticket if it's still in there. That's a green little ticket for bento. You have not only been very generous with your time and talent and vocal cords, but also very, very generous with your pocketbooks. So um, we are very, very proud and very, very grateful to thank all of you who participated both in the Buskers as well as the Zaidam Fund Collection. So our donation to the Seattle Jazz Ed from all of you this weekend is approximately $520. And to the Zidon Fund, $1,828. Sorry, I kind of have this long list of uh, closing announcements here. Um, for the first time, the Pacific Winter...